Thanks for riding along today as I take a road trip to northern Indiana to scout the location for my upcoming workshop to photograph the Sandhill Cranes fall migration. This will be held November 27th. Hello, welcome back. I'm uh, at the location where I photograph and uh, provide workshops for photographing uh, sandhill cranes. And it's still a little early, uh, so I'm scouting it out. It looks like there's a few thousand of them out here, but it's nothing like it's going to be. Some of the fields haven't been harvested yet, so the sandhill cranes are sticking pretty close to this observation area, which is fine, but I typically prefer to photograph them out in the fields where I can get a little bit closer and get a little bit more uh, different behaviors from them. But anyway, I want to photograph here. It's a good time to remind you that, you know, I, I teach art, nature, technology as the three elements of wildlife photography and landscape photography. So for the art portion, it's, it's beginning with the thought of what do you want? What's your creative intent of the photograph? Today, I'm just going to get a try, try to get a couple uh, portrait photographs. Also, I'll try to get a couple uh, in-flight photos. I'm looking to see at this location where I can get my best background for those. Then, uh, as far as the nature portion of it, this is very critical for wildlife photography. You need to anticipate what the behavior of the birds are, in this case, uh, the sandhill crane birds. And... When they're on the ground, they're, they're pretty skittish, so you can't get very close. If you are getting close, it's because you've got, uh, you're have got you staying low. Um, I've had to crawl up to get fairly close to some of them, find a tree line to get behind. I'm not going to have that here, so I'm going to have to shoot from fairly far back. I'll try to get as close as I can, but understanding that behavior on the ground. Then in the air, getting them in flight, I pretty well know what the flight patterns are of these birds. I've been coming to this location multiple years and I know how to position myself to get the best in-flight photos that I can. But uh, most importantly, again, you've got to know what your subject's going to do and anticipate its behavior. Then you get to the technology side, my camera. Uh, again, I use a Sony A1, be using a 200 to 600 millimeter lens today. For the in-flight shots, I'll probably be at about 2,000. Uh, I have a shutter speed of about 2,000. Be shooting with an aperture of probably 7.1. Then while on the, on the ground for the portrait shots, I'll be shooting probably around 800 to 1,000 for shutter speed. Exposure is a little tough, especially at this location. If I'm shooting uh, with bright skies, I'll probably have to do some compensation adjustment and I'll leave a note of that for the specific shots I do. But you've got to know how to adjust your compensation on the fly to get those kind of shots. Some of my shots, it looks like I'll have a trees for the background, some I'll have the sky. So I'll have to adjust that on the fly since I shoot auto ISO. I did move on to a couple other locations searching for better compositions where I could get the birds on the ground. But as I said, they just didn't seem to be moving too much from the central location they were at. Uh, it was hard to sneak up on them. There was no tree lines that I could hide behind and get up close to them as I have in uh, other locations. So I expect this is going to be uh, vastly improved in a couple weeks once the harvest is uh, completed on the fields and the birds will start to spend more time in those harvested fields. So I went ahead and got a couple shots of them on the ground. Just as a reminder, these birds are about a meter or three feet tall with a wingspan of about two meters or six feet. So I went back to my original location, just decided to observe them, listen to their sounds, and just enjoy being outside for a while. And I also got a couple photos of uh, the birds on the ground at this location.
And again, sometimes it's just nice to sit and enjoy the sights and the sounds of nature. And these birds definitely uh, provide a show, not only with their flight, but their constant cooing and uh, racket that they make both on the ground and in the air. So then I got a few uh, shots of them both against the white skies, which were a little challenging. So I made the best out of that and just uh, kind of got a silhouette photo. And then I got some photos with them flying with the uh, still colorful trees in the background. And each of those require different exposure settings and you can do that either by your metering modes or by using exposure compensation. Thanks again for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed some of the sights and sounds of these beautiful sandhill cranes during their fall migration in northern Indiana. And hopefully you have a chance to join me on my workshop on November 27th. Check it out on the website. Let me know if you'd like to attend.